Let's talk to Roger Zakheim, uh, Washington director for the Ronald Reagan Presidential Foundation and Institute. And Roger, I mean, when I saw that headline, I thought, OK, China, what kind of propaganda is this? What kind of strategy is this? Uh, so from your perspective and your expertise, what would you say? Well, I think China, of course, has this axis with Russia. We saw in the Winter Olympics that China and Russia were going to stand together, and China has been a political backer, backer of Russia. Of course, that was a bad bet. Russia's failed to achieve its gains. Putin has not advanced to Kiev like he intended a year ago. And so now China needs to get out of this mess. They're talking diplomacy, but at the same time, uh, we have reports, and the State Department was talking about this earlier in the week, that China may be helping Putin militarily. So on the one hand, they're talking about neutrality, but it could just be a cover for them to ratchet up and begin supporting Russia, not just politically, but also militarily. Well, that's what it seems like. I mean, to me, that's very blunt. Uh, and you mentioned the Olympic Games. I mean, how telling was it that the first meeting that Xi Jinping had in a face-to-face -face way was with Vladimir Putin uh, following the pandemic? But there are a lot of Americans who are increasingly uh, supportive of President Biden's stance on Ukraine. Uh, and supporting it. But then seeing these numbers continue to go up, $115 billion uh, of support in ammunition. And I, I, where does it end? I mean, this is a very costly war. There's no chance of it stopping anytime soon. Well, I disagree that there's no chance of it stopping anytime soon. I think the Biden administration has said they want to stand with Ukraine, want to see Ukraine win and bring the status quo ante back, which is the way things were prior to the Russian invasion in February of last year. But what they haven't done is match that objective with a clear strategy and certainly an urgency and speed to deliver Ukraine the materials that they need uh, to win this swiftly. Uh, we've been getting uh, Washington to support Ukraine, but it's been coming in this drip drop fashion. Uh, and that only really goes to the advantage of Russia. Urgency and speed and capabilities that allow Ukraine to realize a counteroffensive is what's necessary to allow Ukraine to win and to win quickly. Yeah, and it, and it really has uh, been in large part due to America's support that Ukraine has been able to succeed uh, so much. Uh, Roger Zakheim, thank you very much for being with us here on Morning in America. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.